One would hope that the designers of IPv6 learned something from IPv4 security problems we had during the last 20 years and fixed them in the new protocol. Unfortunately, that's not the case, because at a time when IPv6 was designed, most of these things were undiscovered. And when they were fixed in IPv4, no one ported the patches into the IPv6 protocol suite. So in IPv6 we have exactly the same set of security issues as in IPv4. We have first hop vulnerabilities, denial of service attacks, we have to deal with user authentication and authorization, eavesdropping, DNS spoofing and routing security. So for example, anyone on a LAN could claim to be a router and attract all your traffic. And this has been used in more or less benign fashion in some tests, but this is also how someone could get access to all of your hosts. Also, we have ARP spoofing in IPv4, and we have ND spoofing in IPv6. Works exactly the same way. The only problem is that while we have ARP protection or inspection in most of the layer 2 switches for IPv4, not many of them offer the same things for IPv6. And then there are the remote attacks, where someone from outside could attack your layer 3 switch or your router and overload its CPU just by sending TCP SYN packets to bogus IPv6 addresses. So in this webinar, we'll cover all this and a lot more. We'll cover layer 2 security, denial of service attacks and how we can protect against them, routing protocol security, how we can authenticate users, how we can track them, all the exposures that dual stack environment brings. And finally, Eric Winke, my guest speaker, will talk about Cisco IOS IPv6 security features, both from the design, implementation, and configuration standpoint. So join us, register today at ipv6security.eventbrite.com.